Hi, I'm Nate Tobik, the founder of Complete Bank Data. Our new app on the Bloomberg Terminal gives bank equity investors the ultimate competitive advantage. We do this by taking real-time market data and the latest filings from over 10,000 U.S. banks and holding companies, and then we filter these, this data through dozens of proven bank trading strategies to help you value these banks so you can find and execute profitable trades faster. In this quick video, I'll show you how to use our new Bloomberg Terminal app to find an attractive bank stock. Then, we'll get a sense of its value using our built-in bank valuation tool. And last, we'll dive into the bank's loan portfolio to see if there are any hidden risks that disqualify this bank as an investment. Before we get started, if you have any questions about our custom data feeds, bank, in bank investing in general, or our Bloomberg app, I encourage you to reach out. You can get in touch with us the following ways. By phone, calling 866-591-8315 emailing us at info at completebankdata.com, or you could send a me message to me personally on your Bloomberg terminal, ntobik1 at bloomberg.net is my username. Let's get started. On your Bloomberg terminal, to access the application, type the command apps, banks, and hit the go key. This will bring you to our storefront. If you haven't signed up for a, a trial yet, you'll be presented with a button that says free preview. This gives you access to a 30-day trial of the complete bank data application. If you've already started this trial process, you'll be presented with a button that looks like mine that says run app. Click that button now. This begins to load the application, pulls down the data from Bloomberg and our, our custom proprietary bank trading strategies, puts them together, comes up with with ideas that you could use. So let's say that you don't have a specific bank in mind and are just looking for bank investing ideas in general. Let's also say that you want to exclude all banks under $5 billion in assets. You could use this bank size drop down button in the upper right hand corner to filter banks by size. As you can see, we have a number of different strategies. They range from basic ones such as banks buying back stock to more complicated ones such as banks that are potential acquisition targets. And for each of the strategies, we show the top five banks matching the strategy's parameters. To find more details or a longer list of matching stocks, click on the idea. This opens a dialog box with all of the matching banks. So let's take an example here. Let's say we want to drill down further into OFG Bancor. We click on the bank, check appears in the checkbox. Now click the View details, details button. The bank details load. This is the, the bank's main page. You can see where we pull data from Bloomberg, SEC, and our own bank data to present you this comprehensive view. When you look up any bank, you'll start out at the Summary tab. This is the Overview, and it contains a small description, contains some details on, on market data, such as the current price, the volume, also has stats such as the market cap, price to tangible book value, and different return statistics, such as this bank has returned 3.26% over the year to date. As you could also see, the price is up here in the the top of the tab and this is updated real time and it looks like this bank is is up 3.32 percent for the day down below there's different financial tables that are all accessed by clicking on the tabs for any financial table fields can be graphed by clicking on the small graph button next to the title as you can see the color in the graph is the same as the color next to the title and the icon. So let's say we're getting very serious about OFG Bancor and we want to get a sense of its valuation. Navigate to the valuation model button on the left and we select it. At the top you'll see the valuation summary which gives a sense of the overall intrinsic value of the bank by averaging the three different valuation models shown below. So for OFG Bancor, the, our overall estimated intrinsic value is $25.58 a share. 
that's much higher than the current trading price of 17.10 a share. The first model is relative valuation. Relative valuation looks at the bank's price to earnings multiple and price to book multiple compared to the index's price to earnings and price to book multiple. To change your benchmark, you simply select it from the drop down and then click recalculate. As you can see, all the values on this page updated at the same time. The acquisition valuation model looks at cost and tax efficiencies that could be achieved in a takeover. You can change the assumptions used, such as the savings rate or the tax rate. And just as we did in the relative valuation model, click recalculate and all the values update. Lastly, there's the dividend discount model. You can adjust the earnings per share growth, payout rate, discount rate, and recalculate as we did above. Let's presume that this bank pays out 30% of their earnings as dividends. Went from being 6% undervalued to 9% undervalued. And as you can see, all the values updated. So let's say that we're happy with this valuation. We want to look into their loan portfolio. We navigate over to the button on the left that says Loans and select it. You're now presented with details, granular details of their loan portfolio. Their real estate loans, broken down by types of loans, consumer loans, their auto lending, credit card lending, loans to individuals, as well as commercial and other loans such as loans to state governments. Let's graph their total loans compared to their real estate loans. As you can see, real estate loans are only about half of the bank's overall lending, the difference being in their consumer loans and their commercial loans. You might also be interested in looking at the asset quality. Click on the asset quality and seeing that 13% of the bank's real estate loans are non-current. Overall, 8% of the bank's loans are non-current. As you can see, the overall rate is in red, which corresponds to the red icon, and blue for real estate which is blue down here. There's a number of different details that you could use to investigate this bank further, such as looking at details corresponding to the bank's deposits. Or maybe you're interested in looking at the bank's income statement. We could see in the most recent quarter, this bank earned $20.5 million. Another feature that we have is you could see the bank's holding company consolidated financial statements such as this, the bank's holding company only financial statements, which shows what the holding company itself earned, and then also underlying subsidiary bank detailed statements. So the underlying bank earned 20 million Two hundred and six is twenty point two oh six million dollars, whereas the consolidated bank earned twenty point five nine three. That difference in what they earned could be found in the parent only income statements, and that's income that they earned from other businesses, from other non-banking businesses that they own. So in this video, we just scratched the surface of what you can do with complete bank data on Bloomberg. There's tools that help you compare banks to peers. There's tools that provide macro insights on banks. And there's also tools that allow you to create custom bank screens using any of the hundreds of metrics in the system. If you're ready to start a free trial of complete bank data on your Bloomberg, just type apps, banks, go from the main slide. If you have any other questions, please feel free to contact us at any of the following ways. By phone, dialing 866-591-8315, emailing us at info at or sending a chat message to me directly. 
My username is ntobik1 at bloomberg.net. Thank you.